Hey gamers, it's Wintermute here from Grind This Game, back with Oxygen Not Included, the Rocketry upgrade, which just came out of uh, preview today, so it's it's live, it's out there. And last episode we launched our rocket here, and I've rolled back to right before I did the launch, because I want to I wanna deconstruct this rocket, and I want to rebuild my rocket bay up in space in this vacuum here, because I think it's going to work a little bit better for future launches because it gives off a ton of heat, a ton of hot CO2, and we don't want that cooking the base every time. So I'm figuring it'll be, make more sense to do up here in, in the vacuum of space. I might actually have to kind of build a place for it to fit through these doors here if we want to build even like super large rockets later on with like more modules than this one. Uh, but I got some plans. I want to do a, a lot with this base. I want to go big with it. I think we're going to have six weeks before the next update, so I just want to continue on building this base bigger and bigger and bigger. So I'm going to kind of talk about some of the plans that I have for it. And this episode, I want to tie into this natural gas and start getting this power going. I want to build an abyssalite floor along here and kind of give up on this area in terms of it being cold. I want to vent all this hydrogen out up into here and use it for power. I want to redo this vent here and kind of keep the heat from bleeding into the base. Um, there's so much water up here that I want to use. There's a steam vent here, right here. There's a water geyser here and there's a natural gas geyser here, which I could be using, but I'm not. Uh, so I want to tie into all that. I'm going to build a giant giant water tank right here I think. I already have one kind of going. I'm going to drain all this water down into here and maybe I'll shave off a little bit of this so we can fit even more water in here without it breaking. And it's okay if it's mixed because we can always just sieve it. But I think I'm going to put all the water from all this steam geyser and the water geyser over there all into here. Maybe even this one over here, I'll put in here as well, even though it's it's all gonna be hot water. And then from here, this massive tank, we can do things like oxygen, do showers, do sinks and stuff. And I'm gonna need more space for the base, so I'll probably be able to go. I might have to move. We're kinda we're kinda cornered in the in here. I could move all the storage out and free up room for bedrooms. Uh, I, I do have some room left right here that I could expand into. But we want to go bigger in the base, that's for sure. I'm thinking of putting a water lock over in this corner here. Uh, just to kind of have a perfect seal in the base. At the moment, oxygen's a little bit low. I think because a lot of it's going to the exosuits. But I'm not quite sure. It could just be because we took more dupes on. So what should I do first? There's so much to do. I want to straighten this hallway out as well. All oh, this is kind of really bothering me. <laughs> Um, maybe I'll get the chlorine in these pockets to fall down into here and then we'll kind of deal with it there. Maybe even try to drain it all the way into here because that's where we're grabbing chlorine. But ideally I would use my chlorine geyser which is down... Where is it? It's down here somewhere. Uh, it's right here. And I haven't been using it. I want to start using it. CO2 has been running really low in this area where the slicksters are. They're just eating it all up, so... Need more CO2. My Paku farm's doing reasonably well over here. We got lots of Pakus. This is probably lagging the game a bit, but... I don't care. It's cool we got, that we got them in there. And we're out of algae, I think. Or, not quite out of it, but really close. And that's okay, because once, once this population is high, which it is now, I think they'll... I think they'll just keep reproducing. And the population will be maintained. But they're not going to be making any polluted dirt for us, so... They'll probably just... Just stick in there and make shells for us, which is useful. We can use the shells for steel. Petroleum's still going. Uh, natural gas is... We're out of natural gas at the moment. This thing comes back on. Oh, actually, in three cycles, so we should have natural gas again. But I changed the priority again of our power, so let's just take a look at that. So, natural gas is connected to this battery here. So it's our primary power source. We would rather use natural gas first, so at 78% it, it kicks in. 
And then petroleum generator is my secondary source of power. It kicks in at 46%. And then coal is the third one, kicks in at 24%. So right now we're using a bit of petroleum because uh, we're out of natural gas, but that's gonna change in a sec. And I wanna pipe in that natural gas from that vent up top as well. We do have a bit of chlorine in the base, which I'm gonna have to deal with at some point. Uh, hopefully the base will get repressurized. I opened this door here because we got lots of high pressure oxygen out here. I might have to. S I'll have to close that up again at some point. But I figured I would let it vent into the base for now. So where do we start with our grand plans? I think I think I'll probably do uh, an abyssalate layer up here first. We gotta protect this as well. And I've been extending my steel doors, so maybe I'll do that first. Let's do that first, because we got the steel. Let's, um, let's use Mafic Rock. We'll do that priority seven, and I'll just extend along here so they can reach it. Speed things up. Let them just can keep building this. So I'm going to do bunker doors across the whole sky. As I have steel, let's see, refined metal. 400, 400 kg after this kilograms, and then... We really have to save this area. It's just going to get obliterated. So I got to extend my abyssalite wall along here because we got to cool down this area. This natural gas geyser here, it's too hot to pump right now in some areas, 140. At the bottom, it's low enough, but I really need to get that abyssalite layer in there. So we're going to do that kind of right away. And where should we? I think, oh, there's a geyser there too. This is a hydrogen guy, hydrogen vent. I want to use that as well. So maybe I'll move this up slightly. We do have a bisolite right along here. Actually, it continues up here. So for now, what I'm going to do is a bisolite along here, I guess. Priority seven, that's good. So that'll keep the heat um, from up here bleeding into here, but we still have lots of heat from all this regolith. We're going to have to move that down into our water area and cool it down, I think. This is where I've been storing the regolith. So I'll just um, build some more storage containers in there. Let's do granite spine, I guess. Stick those in there. And we, ha we actually have a dupe sitting in the rocket right now. Um, <laughs> so I'm going to deconstruct the rocket. Hopefully the game doesn't crash. Last time I tried to do this, it crashed. So goodbye rocket. That means the petroleum is going to fall out of the rocket, but that's okay. Don't really need this coal generator here anymore. Uh, it's not really hurting anything. I'm just going to disable it so we don't waste coal. Goodbye rocket. And Michael should have fallen out. Yeah, we're back to 14 dupes. So that's good. They're building this, this light layer. That's good. Now I kind of need an airlock here. Actually, let's build it. Uh, let's build it right here. And yeah, all this hot regolith. I got to get, I got to move it out. Might have to move, move some meeswurps in here or something to cool this area down. But as long as we seal it off from the top, it should get cooler because this is all insulated along here. Maybe I'll insulate off this block so it doesn't have to... Yeah, I'm going to do that. I'm going to let this just vent out. So I'll crack that open. They can't reach that just yet, so we'll do a... Just a regular tile, I guess, right here. So vent that out, and then maybe seal off this area so that all that heat just stays in there. So let's do this light along here. Right along here. I might as well make that out of abyssalite as well. Oh, they're not going to be able to reach that. What am I doing? I'll just leave the hydrogen in there. Actually, I need to, I need to dig across here. So <laughs> let's try that again. Abyssalite. 
We're going to extend the floor along here. So there we go. We'll get in here. Dig in here. And we'll let all that vent out. I feel like we're going super slow, but... They're working on it. <laughs> So that's one project. I want to get in here, start using this. We're going to need a liquid lock to get in there. And which side should I, should I go in? We got a bunch of steam trapped in here. 1300 kilograms of steam. That's a lot of steam. But I kind of want to finish this off first. Uh, I want to use the hydrogen vent, but it's just too hot in here right now. We got to cool this area down. Uh, I want to trap all this heat as well, but that's actually not... Oh, it's bleeding in through here. We got to get in here as well and seal this off. So let's build a way for them to get in there. Or maybe I should just cut in here. I think it's easier just to cut in here. Okay, what's the heat difference here? 192 versus 210. Yeah, I think it's okay if we open this up briefly. And kind of seal that in. Do a temperature protection. So they should be able to reach there. And then let's do a bisolite. It's all about temperature management here. Oh, I should have built that on the ceiling instead. <laughs> let's do that instead. Oh, that's all gonna fall down. Uh huh. And be trapped down here where all that. Oh, that's not what I wanted. Uh, but they have to do it that way. Okay. Oh, that regolith is gonna be stuck here now. All that heat. But it's just this chunk. And we're gonna bury it all underwater at some point. <laughs> this algae is actually melting. That's not good. Why does it feel so slow? Go fast, dupes. I'm so used to playing on super speed. Let's go super fast. Okay, that should be all protected then. And then we'll seal this back up. This is bloody hot out here. So that's sealed, that's sealed. This will slowly cool down because it should be all insulated now. Along here, that's all insulated. <laughs> Look at all the steam! Oh my gosh, it's sort of wasting water. This thing is, this thing is very good. We still got meters coming in here. Oh, we just gotta get this done. Let's make this priority eight, so that this doesn't get blown away. Because if this breaks, that's really bad. Sorry, water. <laughs> and then we'll get right over to the other corner of the map. Get that natural gas eventually. And try to keep this area nice and cool. I think it's, it is melting, so we might need to do some more cooling up here. So there's that project. Uh, we need to make more steel. Oops. Which means we probably need more eggshells. That was oxygen. Oh, that's still low. What are we crushing here? Are we still doing lime? We still have some lime left. That's good. This chlorine is starting to build up. Did my water lock break? No. I think it just all snuck in through the top here. But I also want to get, let this hydrogen out and I want to seal, kind of want to block this off. Do it in this light layer along here. Maybe save these plants here and then make the layer here. Okay, let's do that. Bisolite. 
Uh, right along here should be fine. Right to there. And then we'll dig this out. Let that hydrogen, let that hydrogen get up in here. And it's all hot hydrogen, which is fine. This area we're just gonna give up on in terms of it being cold. We'll just put a barrier. This crooked ladder is really gonna bug me, so we should probably just fix that. I mean, it's not too bad. But it's not so long that we can't fix it, so let's fix it. And should I use plastic? How much plastic do I have? They're not gonna be up there very much, so I'll just use a regular granite, since granite's close. And then we'll deconstruct this so we've got a nice straight ladder. Should probably put a fire pole in there too, but they're not gonna be going in here, like I said, very much. And then once all this hydrogen vents out, oh, we got blue water draining in there. That's, uh, that's not great. <laughs> but it's not too bad. It's all gonna fall in here. So abyssalite, abyssalite. Um, airlock here, probably. Now, where's that polluted water ending up? Down here in our little trough. That's good. Now, I'll let them catch up. I'll let them finish all these orders and then we'll continue on. Okay, so the. I made a cut right here, three tiles high, just so the hydrogen can kind of make its way out. And I had a little lip here for the ice, but I think what I might do is move that ice down here. Yeah, let's do that. Put a storage container down here. Mm, I made a little trough here for the water to go in. We need a place to sweep it up though, because it's going to melt and it's going to end up draining here. I put a little lip here just to... Actually, I can make that an airflow. That way, the air will flow. I don't want to vent all this hydrogen out and then we can maybe use it if it all collects up here. And all this cool oxygen should be settling down here, but should be making its way in here. I mean, over time, this should all come out. There's no reason it shouldn't end up here. And I want to redo this whole geyser system here. I'll probably put it in a tiny little room and pump the water out from here and send it to our soon-to-be giant water tank, which I actually want to start digging out. I could probably go, let's see, one, two, three. I'll leave it four wide here. Actually, we could just extend it along here. Hmm. Now, apparently, Abyssalite is the strongest for building this kind of stuff. So I could do a triple abyssalite wall here. I don't even know if I need it to be triple because I think it's based on depth, not, not the sides. What is this? Granite? Uh, let's see. I kind of want to leave space for future builds and stuff, so maybe I'll do... Yeah, abyssalite. Along here. We can build... We can build a, another layer on later on, but we'll just do a wall of two here from this side so that, that it don't uh, have troubles. Put that in there, do a double wall here, and then carve all this out. And then we'll have a giant space for a tank. And then I can drop this into here and any other water will pump into here. And we're still doing steel for up top here. How did this all settle out? Oh, they weren't able to get in here. But that should all be protected now. Now some heat's gonna get through this airlock. Maybe I should just get rid of the airlock. Because they can make it around the other way. Yeah, let's... 
Mm, let's see. Actually, just the airlock is hot. Because it's a vacuum here, it should be fine. Oh yeah, they can't get in here. Uh, is that okay? I kind of wanted to seal this in. But I don't really have to dig it out. I think I'll just do abyssalite like along here. This is like the abyssalite episode. Okay, so priority eight, sure. We'll just do that and then we'll seal it in. Nice little pocket of heat. Now some of that's gonna drop down unless we're careful with how we do this. We'll just dig and move, dig and move, dig and move. <laughs> And then hopefully this area starts cooling down. 140 at the top. But we can go in from this side. Actually, if we start pumping this natural gas, we're gonna get it's gonna get too hot. So we need to start cooling this area down if we actually want to pump this gas out of here. And I could just open it up. Oh no, this is all hot too. I could pump some cold water through it, radiated pipes, and cool it down that way. Could jam a few wheeze warts in there. I need a water lock though, so none of this natural gas falls out. So let's maybe do that. Granite should be fine. This will be the bottom. Right, we can do it one over. So the bottom and then This will be our water lock right here. Do a bottle emptier, igneous rock. No, let's use granite. So we'll stick some water in there, get the water lock going. Put an, an air lock in just for extra measure. I got this ladder here. It's probably not necessary anymore. Hmm. That should be okay like that. Uh, we need tiles underneath here, though. I think they can build through the corner right there. And then once that's all sealed in, uh, we can crack open in this. Maybe stick a few weezworts in there just to cool it down. Continue on here. Okay, that's all built, that's good. And let's do water. Actually, is this water gonna boil? 66 degrees. Um, the water might boil, actually. Turn into steam. Actually, it'll just cool the area down. So let's do water, priority eight, enable bottle, auto bottling. Oh, there's phosphorus in there. We don't want that in there. Get that out of there. Oh, we can get rid of this gantry. Don't need that anymore. Don't need that. Straighten out our ladder. Yeah, that water should cool down the area. Now, if any water falls down here, where's it going to end up? Ah, uh, down by the base. That's not good. <laughs> Let's put a little tile here, just as a blocker. In case any water gets through. Now, are they... I think they were just mopping up water by mistake. Uh, I guess that's okay. So are we for time? I wanna I wanna get a decent amount of stuff in here, not just abyssalite walls and stuff. Now I did wanna open up this uh oh I already did open up this cavity here to get more chlorine down the bottom. But we could crack in here as well. I just wanna consume all the chlorine, so let's 
Let's continue this here. Dig out either side. And just let all that chlorine float to the bottom here. Okay, I think the hydrogen is making its way out. That's good. And I gotta, I gotta deal with this. So we need... I want it to be fairly small and somewhat insulated. Or, hmm, I guess we can start it. I'm gonna need a ladder here and a tile here. Let's go along here without cracking into this chlorine. Take out this ladder. And then we'll seal this in insulated tile and move our pump up. Now, the, some heat has to escape or the steam will never condense. So let's take this airlock out. And I think I'm just going to do... I don't think I need to use a bis uh, insulated tile, just use regular abyss light. So we'll go here. So we'll put the pump on the right hand side. Gotta get rid of some of this natural pinch pepper nut. And we gotta go in here and shave this off. Now I don't need bomb lily for anything. Our dupes are never gonna get sick, I don't think, so. We can always grow it if we need it. Okay, so that goes there. More abyssalite here. Our pump will go right here. And then we'll put an abyssalite ceiling on it. One, two, three, four. And maybe this side will be um, metal tile so the heat can get out this way. But no heat will get out into the base in this whole area because this area is just getting really hot. But we got to use up this water first. <laughs> that shouldn't be a problem. Oh, it's going to go off here. Actually, can the dupes get in there? No, good. <laughs> we don't want the dupes getting in here from the left or they're going to get fried. Unreachable build. Um... Why not? Oh, they can't get through here. Dig this out. This out. Should be good. And then once there's all this hot water is out of there, we can seal this off, straighten it all out. I could use this space for something. This area is nice and warm, though, for the phosphoric... Or, not phosphoric, the pinch of pepper nut. Which I've been feeding with the bathrooms. That works pretty well. But we definitely have to get the steel continuing along in the up at the top here. Where is our steel? Okay, we got a little bit more built there. How much more steel do we have? 5.5 .5 tons. Oh good, they've been busy. Oh, we got some from the rocket as well. So, Mavic Rock, let's continue across here. And do bunker doors. Should have enough to build quite a bit, actually. Now, I considered building... Uh, if we zoom out here... I really need to go in here and redo this power grid because I've got the two kilowatt wire here, which is actually no good because I really need this to be heavy watt wire and have a transformer and have individual two kilowatt circuits that are running all this stuff up here. Now I changed my automation a bit so that it's it's uh, 12 seconds here and it's 
Oh, it should be one second here. I thought I changed it. 12 seconds. 12 seconds. It should be uh, 12 and 1 so that it's not a 50-50 thing here. I think I really want something like 1 and maybe 15. That changed itself to point 0.1. I don't know why. Okay, one second. I think that's what I want. Let's see. Okay, so it's open for 15. And closed briefly. So that's good. So it's mainly open. So that's way better than the 50-50 thing I had before. So that'll still clear away the regolith, but not waste our sunlight. I got some tips about running it just at night, uh, but it can actually, it needs clearing sometimes during the day, so that wasn't really a, the ultimate solution. But what I was thinking about doing is bringing a heavy watt wire down and joining both grids. Joining this grid to the grid up top. Now that would require a ton of heavy watt wire. It would have to go the whole way up here. And I'd want to hide it away so that the dupes can't see it because it's really low decor. But I don't know if I have enough metal for that. That would require... Each tile is 100 metal. Raw metal. And we only have... Let's see here. Raw metal. We have... We have a lot of gold. 82 tons. We might be able to do it. Between the iron and the gold could probably do a heavy watt wire the whole way but for now I'm I'm not gonna build it just yet cuz I'll have to do some math and see if I have enough metal and I don't want to use all my metal just for one big power line and right now we don't really need it we have tons of power down here and once we tap this natural gas and this other natural gas that's up here we will not need uh, we won't probably won't need all that solar power Auto bottle on. Did they fill up this tile yet? No, not quite. Take this. Okay, now we got our water lock. I'm gonna... I need a bit more water in there first, though, before I turn it off. Then we can get in here and get this natural gas. Instead of using a filter, what I might do is just seal this off, <laughs> seal the chlorine off. And then we won't have to worry about it. Do granite ladder here. Get that done, get that done. Actually, we don't want to build right to the bottom. Yeah, how am I going to do this? I think if I do this, granite and seal it off here should work. And I want to use this hydrogen for powering our coolers. Maybe I'll be back once they kind of get in here. It's going to take a while. Okay, so they're almost done in here. Kind of getting this set up. So this is all of this light around the corners, the edges. And this will be metal tile. I've already put in the wiring and the plumbing. So I might just seal this up. And we'll just use this water until it's gone and then we'll activate this pump. So let's just seal that up. Actually, is it gonna hurt if I leave it open like that? I don't think so. But I'll close it up anyway. And we might not get water, depending on how cool this wheeze ward is. <laughs> might need to put another wheeze ward right here. Now, I know you're not supposed to put them too close together. But we'll just try one here. That should cool down this area. Okay, 
Oh, our dupe almost got stuck in there. So yeah, I'll clear this out, and then we can dig all this out. Now, I might not have left enough room for the water to accumulate, but I think it should be okay. And we got a lot of hydrogen building up here, so that's good. That's kind of what I wanted to do. Get it all out of there and actually use it. And it's nice and cold. I guess I should probably just lead a wire up there. We already have a wire here. That's a lot of refined metal, but I think I'll just do it. Because we got un we got unlimited gold coming out of the gold volcano, so I'll just I'll just do it. And we'll put a pump up there. We're probably okay with a small pump. But I'll just use a big one. Gas pump. Gold. Actually, I gotta check how much power I have on this line already. Max 1.56. Oh, we're fine. So I won't filter it, but I'll do a sensor. Just to make sure this thing only runs. So automation, we'll do gaseous element sensor. And if there's hydrogen right here, it's probably safe to pump. So we'll hook that up with automation wire and power. And then we actually have to pump it down. And I think I'm gonna use granite. It should be fine. This is all in the cold biome. Granite. We have so much granite. Okay. I don't even know where it's going to end up yet, but... It'll come down this way. That's the wrong kind of pipe. What am I doing? Liquid pipe. Cancel build. <laughs> okay. What we actually want is a gas pipe. Made out of granite. And that is going to go into our hydrogen line. Let's do a gas bridge. Now where am I going to where am I going to tie this in? Uh, I could bridge across. Some serious lag here. It's stuttering pretty badly. Uh, let me see. How am I gonna do this? I could come around the other side, stick it in that side. I think I might actually do that. Just build a floor along here. Granite. Let's make it four high. One, two, three, four, and then along here. And then I'll bring it along down here. Now we might need more than one hydrogen generator to actually use this up. Just tie it in right there. Then we can stop using this coal. That should actually be on a separate battery. Kind of as backup power. So I'm going to do that right now. Even though the battery is going to cause a little bit of heat. Stick that there. That way we can have separate automation. Actually, I don't want automation on... I'll just set this really low. So it only kicks on if we're out of hydrogen. That should work. Yeah. And they're almost done this. Good. How's our how's our steel roof going? I'm I'm extending this glass. I'm using diamond for this glass thing. But it looks like they're uh they're working through it. Maybe I'll do that priority 8 just so we get that done. It's not as high priority as the st steel, but 
They'll be able to run faster along here, and then they can just notch up here. So let's do a priority eight ladder just here. Because this kind of ladder system, it takes them a long time to run along here. But with this floor, they should be much faster. And what are they doing here? I put in a secondary airlock because I was just paranoid about this not working. We can turn this off now. Water lock is intact. And I think we can safely go in here now. I'm going to put one more tile right here. Let's do that priority nine. And then we'll carve in here. We'll build these floors to trap the chlorine. Maybe I should just do this instead. Do this. Then they can build this. Uh, I want it to be a bit higher actually, <laughs> just in case. So here, here, here. There we go. And I'll let them catch up and then we can go in here and get this all set up. Start pumping the natural gas out of there. Okay, so I'm just clearing out this, this area so there's more space for the natural gas to build up in. And I think it's safe to put our pump in now. I think there's only natural gas in here now, except this chlorine, which I blocked off. I thought some oxygen got in, but I don't see it. So, probably put the pump near the bottom, because it's cooler down here for now. <laughs> At the top, it's 139, so our gas pump will break. Let's do gold, gold gas pump right down here. Maybe not the very bottom, because there might be some CO2 that collects down there. So right there, that's going to need power. What kind of power do we want to use for this? We could use this coal generator that we have here. How hot is it up here? 105. Oh, we already have a power line, so I'll just use that. And like I said, we have essentially unlimited gold, so... Let's do it straight through like this. I like straight lines, even though there's a lot of stuff in this base that is not straight. Enable this. I haven't looked at coal usage in a while. I should probably do that. Coal, 74 tons. Oh, we got tons. <laughs> got tons of tons. And then I learned my lesson with this. This can get really hot because it's coming out at 150 degrees. So we need, we need abyssalite. And at some point we might actually run out of it, run out of abyssalite. Now that's going down towards our power power plant. Let's build it down to here for now. Actually, I can take it down to here. And then we'll we'll tie it in to this line here. Actually, look at this. It's pressurized already. We have so much power. It's kind of ridiculous. <laughs> I do want to get off the coal power at some point. Because we'll run out of hatch food, maybe, eventually. Probably not, but it's possible. We have so much food. Let's take on some more dupes. Actually, oxygen's a bit low. That reminds me of another thing I wanted to do this episode, and that was get some oxalite production going. With that new building. The oxalite refinery. Requires a lot of power, requires some gold, but I just kind of want to try it out. We could actually make it out of steel, plus 200. But where would we put it? Probably down near our power production. We could feed it some pure oxygen that's building up in here. Maybe from here. Hmm. Yeah, let's try it. Let's just, let's not plan anything. Let's just do it. So refinement, oxalate refinery, steel, 
Do I have spare steel? Yeah. I don't need to use steel. What am I doing? That's a waste. Let's use gold. Gold. Stick it right here. Some power. How much power do I have on this line? I don't think a whole lot. 600 watts. Yeah, let's... Oh, actually... Potential power, 200. Or 600. Let's bring that over here. It has no decor, so I'll, I'll stick it in the wall anyway. Now this needs pure oxygen, I think, so we should probably use a filter. And the oxalate, it'll, I'll just let it, there is a container for it in the base, and that way they'll bring it into the base, and the base can just pressurize from the oxalate in it. Or we could do a conveyor and move the oxalate into the base that way. That would be probably better. I always wanted to cool down this area here, because we want to have cold blue water coming out of it, but so far it's not super critical. Now this thing, well, I'm going to wait until they finish this, but we're going to need a pump, a filter. Now this means we're going to start using up some of this polluted oxygen here, but I think that's okay. Because we got this polluted oxygen vent here I'm not even using. Overpressure. Oh, jeez. We just got... We have excess resources. <laughs> we, could, we should probably take on way more dupes. I mean, that's the idea long term, but I just wanted to get the infrastructure in place first. I'm going to skip ahead, though. Let them finish building all this first. Okay, so we got this built. And now we need oxygen to go in there. So I'm just going to put a... How much oxygen does it use? Six, let's see here. Oxygen input. 600 grams per second. What's the small one do? Small one does 50 grams. Oh, we need a regular pump. So I'll just stick that here. And I should probably filter it just in case we have the power to spare. And granite should be fine, so we'll go in here, pure oxygen out, everything else will stick over here. And maybe I'll put a... Do we need a high pressure vent, I wonder? Actually, that should be fine. And then we should get oxalate. Looks like we got a job mastered, uh, and quite a few being mastered. Super server, let's move you down here. Oops, I just moved the wrong person. <laughs> I don't know where Captain G was before. Oh, super server's already done this. Yeah, but he hasn't done that. Captain G, where do you want to go? Where were you? I can't remember. You've probably done everything, but... Let's see if you've done this, Captain G. Nope, you haven't done that yet. Perfect. And I'll just let them build this out and then we'll see this thing in action. So they're almost done here. I made a priority nine just so we could get it done. But we have to pick our filtered output. Pure oxygen. And there it goes. Never seen this thing actually run. There we go. Oxalate. It actually has germs in it. No, that's not good. Not a whole lot of slime lung, but it has some slime lung. That answers one question about germs. Oh, look at all the germs in here. Oh, wow. Okay, we're going to turn that off. Disable. Actually. The germs in, this, in the oxygen aren't... Oh, uh, they're pretty bad, actually. Looks like they're transferring right into the oxalate. Oxalate, oxalate, where are you? And they're grabbing it too. Oh, this oxalate has no germs. This, that's weird. 
Hmm. <laughs> I should probably build a conveyor for this. No surface germs. Okay, this is interesting. The oxygen going in definitely has germs in it. Quite a bit. But the oxalate that... The first bits of oxalate had germs in it, but this one doesn't. So strange. Hmm. Maybe we'll just, uh... Let that continue. And then there's an oxalate container somewhere. Somewhere in here. Um, right here. No germs. Interesting. What's the priority on that? Eight. What I really should do is just automate it. And we haven't really used many conveyors, so I'm going to do that really quickly. Oh, it's getting too hot in here. Oh, 38. That's not too bad. Okay, conveyor. We want a sweep arm... Auto sweeper. Now, is it going to be able to see it on the ground there? I think it should be able to, yep. So auto sweeper, conveyor loader. Stick it up here. Actually, right here where the dupes can actually build it. That's going to need power. And hopefully we're not using too much power on this now. Oh yeah, we are. Hmm. <laughs> Way too much. What all are we using it for? Oh, this stuff down here. Now, this isn't going to be running all the time. And actually, this is not running at all. So we will risk it. And hope we don't fry the circuit. And I'm going to send a conveyor line up into the base. Conveyor rail out of here. Okay, where should we go along here? Uh, I'm going to go along here. And stick it right... Maybe I'll just offload it right here. to a conveyor receptacle. Really, I should take it up here, but... I can always move it later. Conveyor receptacle. Right there, okay. So the oxalate should end up in there and just kind of gas off into the base, which is good. If the pressure is low enough. So I had like six different projects going this episode. Um, this is gonna suck all the oxygen out of here, which actually isn't such a bad thing. I really need a deodorizer here though. So let's do that. So we're at least getting clean oxygen going in there. And we should pump polluted oxygen oxygen down here for these puffs because right now it's it's ending up in here which isn't really helping us a whole lot we got a fish trap unreachable oh, I probably locked the door yeah but we already have other projects on the go so I'm gonna do that one maybe off camera and our water thing we never quite finished I'm gonna grab this and finish off our giant water tank. Let's do that priority nine. Actually, they're gonna get stuck in there. So let's build this first. Seal that in, and then we can dig all this out. And I can start pumping water in there. And we could let this fall through. How, how hot is our... This stuff, 48 degrees, 44 degrees. I think I might just dump this down. So let's do granite priority nine, just straight down through here. And I think it'll fall through this and just kind of drain into here. 
Then we can get rid of all this. Because it's not really doing anything for us. Oh, and they're still working on this this line here. So I'm going to let them catch up. <laughs> there she blows. There's something pleasing about... Uh-oh, that's going <laughs> to... Something pleasing about water falling. Okay, we really need, really need a tile here just in case. Priority 9. Come on, build it before it floods. There they go. Oh, I did have this light by mistake. Now all this I'm going to deconstruct because we don't need this anymore. That was all um, filtration medium. Let's dig this out. Dig this out. And our water tank grows. Let's seal that in. And this tank could actually be a lot bigger. If we bring it down to this level, we could have like, this could all be water. This will be the main reserve tank. We can store all our um, stuff at the bottom. Okay, that's gonna take a while to drain and they're still building this, so I will be back in a sec.